What makes this Indian Challenger so good? There's a motorcycle for everybody, literally, on my Harley Davidson road ride, to be honest. That's what makes this bike so good. All right, let's do a quick little walkthrough first. There she is, looking nice and pretty. Today we're gonna be talking about what makes the Indian Challenger so good at what it does. Bike looks beautiful, just sitting right there, man. She's really dirty. I've been saying that I've been wanting to wash her and clean her up, and I just haven't had the time to. Um, but this week I will, because I don't want to keep riding this bike around looking so dirty. Like, I, I hate having a dirty bike. Love that windshield right there. All right, so let's talk about what makes this Indian Challenger so good and why you may want to get this bike. First things first, right off the bat, this bike is comfortable. It is so, so comfortable. The stock seat that it comes with, and yes, I said stock seat. The stock seat is super comfortable. It's plush, it's soft, there's no braking period. It's just perfect. And you can spend hours on hours on this bike riding all day. I want you to enjoy your ride because it's nothing worse than to get off a bike or anything uncomfortable and just be hurting after that. But this seat, man, I, I, I don't know what they put in it. But it's really comfortable. It's nice and wide. It's cushiony. It's plush. And it keeps you in place as well. Now that we are on the subject of talking about comfortable, um, what makes this bike so good? The suspension. It is so, so good. As you know, this bike has a mono shock and an inverted front end. And the bike just performs so good in the corners. It absorbs everything that you're going over. Any little potholes or little crevices you're going over or whatever it is, any little bumps, it just soaks everything in. And it does such a good job at doing that. It really does. Indian really took their time to get the suspension just right. It's that good. And just imagine that. You're getting premium suspension on a bike from factory. You don't have to pay extra for it. You don't have to go and outsource this from a third party. It comes on the bike from factory, which is amazing. Even here, I'm trying to go over any little bump that I see. And you don't feel anything. It's that good. <laughs> In the corners. Just leaning the bike over, throwing it over. It feels organic. There's not much um, effort that you got to put into it to kind of lean it over, throw the bike over. But what kind of, what gets me thinking the most is that while you're throwing the bike over and while you're leaning into those corners, what I like the most about it, just, it, it, it just has like an organic feel to it. Like you feel really planted on the bike. The bike itself just feels very well planted. Like it wants to live and it wants you to ride it hard in the corners, in the twisties. That's why at times you see so many people building bikes and they they forget one of the most important components and that's suspension. And it's just one of the most important things. It, it'll change the whole dynamic of your ride experience. 
it's day and night and once again now I'll, I'll mention it again it's this is from factory which is awesome you're not paying a premium you're not paying there's no extra cost for you to have this suspension on your challenger which is great that's probably like my favorite thing on here it's just the suspension um what else makes this bike so good well uh i can kind of show you now that we're on the highway if i can get some space out of here it's the power it has that power plus engine is amazing packing a ton of torque packing a ton of horsepower and the power delivery is always there always there Liquid cooled Power Plus engine on the Indian Challenger. Now, I don't know what you look for when you're out there shopping for a motorcycle. Um, I, I'll, I'll just give you a few things that I look for. Um, obviously, it looks to me, it's the number one thing, right? You, you, you need to like the bike that you're gonna own. You need to love that bike. And there's gonna be a special bond that you're gonna build beyond that point with your bike. But before that, you need to love the bike. You need to be able to get off that bike and you can't resist but not to look back at it. Every time. That's how you know. But looks are subjective. So whatever I like, you may not like, right? So that, that's why they are so many different type of motorcycles out there there's a motorcycle for everybody literally um but looks to me obviously the main thing that's what's going to attract you to a certain bike a certain type of bike and then what i think you should be looking for is is a motorcycle that you're going to feel comfortable on and that that just goes back to everything that i was mentioning before you need to feel comfortable and for me i feel that on here seat is amazing from stock suspension is amazing um so that that to me is what is a very very important factor um after that some of you guys might look at other stuff you might be looking at uh how much horsepower it has how much power uh engine size right um th this <laughs> this bike here is it's a little monster that that's what this bike is and then beyond that is a little bunch of gadgets there's music as you can see here um the sound system on here is really 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 good I think it might be louder than the sound system on my Harley Davidson Rogue Glide, to be honest. Um, so that's an, uh, another really good thing about the Challenger. Little other stuff that we could just point out. Obviously the the windshield, right? With the touch of a of a of a finger, windshield goes down or up, whatever you want. But honestly, what stands out to me the most is just suspension and power that's what makes this bike so good um so if you if you are wondering is the indian challenger the right bike for me that's the question that you're gonna have to answer for yourself go to your uh nearest dealership throw a leg over her see how she feels and um come back to this video or any of the other indian challenger videos and give me your feedback let me know what you guys think um i absolutely love this bike love the way it rides I wish I was able to keep it <laughs> so I could just customize it to my liking and just, just convert it into something else. Um, but she's a beauty. She is a beauty. If you want to see more Indian content like this, guys, I've posted up a ton of videos already. I posted up a lot of other videos um, going over the bikes, specs, details, riding it, just everything you kind of want to know about this bike is in those videos so i'll uh i'll link a few of them at the end of the video you guys can check that out and if you want to see more content like this there's going to be more stuff coming out so just make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe enjoy the ride baby
Peace.